Jano, <laughs> I'm speaking here long and nobody not tell me. Anyways, um, Shamar Bowes and Nicholson on his way to on his way to on, on his way to um Everton. That is the latest tour coming out. Fix it, just fix it, just fix it, just fix it. <laughs> on his way to um, everton that is the latest tour coming out now people i just realized that it was on mute i started out i didn't get the beep that i'm, I'm used to <laughs> but i do apologize for that people i really do apologize for that at least you guys are paying attention and listening to what i'm saying so that was a test run let's get back to you guys smash the like button hit the subscribe button would definitely appreciate it if you guys do so now this is a rumor actually coming out um, um from murdoch it was a it was written by a journalist from everton one of the everton representative and they stated that everton reached out to um sparta moscow in acquiring the service of shamar nicholson he fits the mold he fits the type of player that, that they want and they are looking for a striker everton have only scored four goals so far in this season's campaign is it four four or six about four or six goals so far in this season campaign and it's definitely not enough let me do a check and I, I do think i had the stats on that how much goals everton score yes i did um it's actually four goals they have scored four goals and conceded a total of six goals so far this season now the situation arises is it's it's a rumor but it's coming from a credible source it's coming from a credible source and all in other news articles are picking up on it right now as i speak it's coming from a credible source so all the news articles that are picking up on it right right now as i speak so you soon see it in the media i'm going large reason being dominic calvert lewin is out for maybe a couple months picked up an injury and i think it was the 22nd of august he picked up that injury and then from that he'll be out for maybe two months two to maybe two to three months are a maximum and they know um anthony garden strong possibility that anthony garden might be on his way to chelsea as well remember that chelsea was interested in anthony garden and then now you look at the likes of um the recently lost um richard Allison. so they are down to their bare bones in regards to the striking force they are down to their bare bone in bones in regards to striking force carson white said plus they have calvert lewin and rondon calvert lewin will be out for another two to three months he will be out because of serious injury. So, what are you saying? You won't be. They need a striker right now. They need a striker right now. Rondon still doesn't have that experience. He's not a proven striker as yet. So, there's a lot to this story. So, let me get into the article, people. I think it's important that we, that I get into the article. Show you guys what is happening. So, it's 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 very much important that I do so. So you guys can see what um what 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 I'm saying what I'm speaking about. So let me bring it up. All right. So here it is, people. Here it is. Um, as I stated earlier, this story broke by David Murdoch. I'm a, rep a Everton representative. He said, Everton, let me, f let's, let's see if I can find, good. Everton are in the market for three more players. Three more players. He said that um, the Senegal midfielder at first person, Idrissa Gea, has returned to Everton on a two year deal after finally resolving his dispute with PSG. The Senegal midfielder has left in Nimbo for almost three, three weeks after a contact dis contract dispute with the French club and over bonus payment he was entitled to now this is this is where it gets interesting let's pass it just a gear this oh this is everton eyes three signings before deadline day um everton has stepped up their quest for new signings as the transfer deadline looms with at least three potential new signings before the window closed at 11 p.m. The Blues have completed a deal with Idris Agea back to Goodison Park from, P um, from PSG, and despite late interest from Arsenal, they are confident from um, of completing the paperwork in plenty of time. Um, the club has also agreed a 15 million fee for young Manchester United midfielder James Garner, and that deal has been done with just paperwork to be completed before this evening. But interestingly, Frank Lampard's club has also made contact with several clubs as they plan to bring in another striker before the deadline. 
But there has been contact with both Blackburn over their goal scorer Ben Brisson Diaz and Spartak Moscow with the Jamaican international Shamar Nicholson of interest. The 25 year old is desperate to move from Russia but since the war in Ukraine no players moved from the country to the Premier League despite FIFA introducing a new rule allowing transfers. Um, they are still interested in let me bring that up. In Brayton Diaz, who has shown his prowess at international level after qualifying to play for Chile due to his mother's nationality. So, definitely, as I mentioned, they are very much interested in Shamar Nicholson. No, he fits. He fits. He fits the profile or the mold of the player that they would definitely want. He fits that mold. Um, we can look at it many different ways. It could be a bad move, could be a good move. Listen, this is that. Premier League is one of the highest level of football you can play. So I don't think anyone will turn down the chance of playing Premier League. Um, Spartak Moscow recently brought in a forward. Um, I can't remember his name. Um, because they already have they already knew the situation with Shamar Nicholson. Galatasaray was on the case with Shamar Nicholson for this. From the start of the transfer window, Galatasaray is one of the club who has shown keen, keen interest in Shaman Nichols and they're very much important very much trying their best to acquire the service both Icardi Icardi is the one who's standing in the way right now if the deal for Icardi um, don't go through Galatasaray will turn to Shaman Nichols and so Galatasaray is, is in order of pri um, priorities Icardi Mara Icardi and then Shaman Nichols if Shaman Nichols deal um, if Icardi deal doesn't go through they will turn to Shaman Nichols but Shamar Nichols to fit the profile of many teams right now in regards to its age bracket and all these factors. So that is one we should most definitely be looking at. Big up IS Abde. Um, there's a lot of things in the comment section. Um, Corey Thompson said, I would love to see Boza play for my team. Randa have, have a lot of experience. What do you mean military? About 35. Think about it. A thirty-five year, a thirty-five year old versus a twenty-five, a twenty-five year old. One who's in the end, end of his career versus one who's actually coming to, uh, coming to prove a point. I uh, would always go with the one who's coming to prove a point. Yeah, run and all people, run and all. Um, I, I, I knew that they recently brought in. I think Mapai. They recently brought in Mapai. Um, Mapai is it Mapai? Mapai or Mapai? Am I pronouncing it wrong? But definitely, this is one very much interesting look at because I'm not sure if they are looking for a player or a, a target man. Maybe they're looking for a target man. Look at Mapai versus Shaman Nichols. Mapai is maybe five foot ten, five foot eleven in comparison to Shaman Nichols, who's five, who's six foot five. He's a monster, he's a giant. He's physical, he's agile, he's quick. And he score goals, aerial duels um, on the floor. He fits the mold of a Dominic Culver Lewin. They are possibly looking for someone of that, someone who can um, stay up front and do it uh, and do it by themselves. Um, Ma 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 Mapa is a player who actually plays in a system whereas the team contains a lot of the ball. You won't find that with Everton. You won't find that with Everton. I'm seeing people are saying Randon is 35. People are saying Randon is 32. Uh, at the end of the day. <laughs> at the end of the day you want to go with a young a young remember the people the Premier League is going towards young the younger generation look at most of the players who are coming to the Premier League they are coming in they are purchasing players who are younger fitter agile who they can rely on continuing so yes Rondon is there yes they are looking at Mopai but they are still also looking at that what if uh, Mopai get injured, um, injured what happened what happened then you can't go into the league with only one or two strikers. That is that that's not feasible. You must have some. You must have a third string striker. At least you can say we can rely on that one. And when you look at it, Dominic Calvert Lewin is out. We, they don't know how long he will be out for. No one knows how long Dominic Calvert um, Dominic will be out for. And anything can happen in regards. One run, running can just decide to leave. Um, Ryan said Mapa is a better finisher than Shamar. Finisher than Shamar. Ah. It depends. It really depends. It, re it really, really depends. Does Mopa really rely on high, high volume chances? These are um, these are things that um, these are things that you have to look at, um, and those are not really calculations that we we as um, we as fans or analysts or journalists will look at. In regards to scouting system, they look at shots per conversion. They look at all these factors. 
and it must be a reason why they would have made contact it must be a reason why frank lampard would have made contact um with um sparta moscow for um acquiring the interest of shaman nicholson but if that's the case remember that galatasaray is still on the case it's, they still deem the interest for um shaman nicholson so there's a strong possibility that we might see shaman nicholson moving this transfer window without a doubt um people i won't say any longer um Corey Thompson said frank wants to play the ball on the wings and fall to be um get to be on those crosses so they're looking to sell rondon um exactly so and is my point lethal early is a, is a lethal error striker is is a lethal early because we know that dominic calverlin that's one of dominic um dcl specialties in regards to aerial um crosses coming inside of the box so that's that's difficult that's definitely one to look at um gg said five hours ago so it will be difficult agree um reese carter said, what team you support i support arsenal we are the gunners we are the gunners anyways people um i just came here to break this news to you guys um um so hopefully you guys are doing good um i will see you guys um maybe if this deal goes through but we'll definitely keep track of it people we will keep track of it and i will keep you guys up to date on everything that is going on but until then people i'll see you guys again and uh, definitely guys before you go to smash the like button hit the subscribe button if you're here for the first time and i'll see you again big up um let us know if it's going to the comment section people and let us know if it's a good move if, if you think it's a good move for shaman nicholson see you guys again people until next time we're out